Hi, my name is Taylor Avetisian. I'm Anna Avetisian. And this is my mother-in-law. She is the best Armenian cook I know, but please don't tell Grandma Susie I said that. <laughs> so today we're making Michukov kufte. Michukov kufte is outside uh, chi kufte with pulgur and inside is ground beef with spices. Let's get started. Okay, the outside, we're gonna start off with the two cups of number one bubu. Putting in a bowl, we're gonna sprinkle with ice water. I add enough water to wet the bubu. We wait five minutes to soften and then start to adding all the meat and the spices. So this is chikufte and I got them from Armenian market. Usually we go just the store and say I need chikufte and it's ready to buy. And this is good for Michukov kufte, chikufte, sini kufte. You can use a couple of different ways. Okay, so my bulgur is wet. It's ready to start to kneading. I'm gonna start adding some uh, salt and starting with water. Add lots of water and start kneading. Don't be scared about the water because water is gonna mix all this together. Okay, so I uh, mix it about uh, three, four minutes until the bulgur sticks together. This is a really good time to add the meat. Okay. Again, always use water. Add water and start mixing bulgur and meat together. So meat already all mixed together. We're gonna little bit, maybe a teaspoon black pepper and a tablespoon olive oil pepper. Add more salt and start kneading again. And when you start mixing or kneading, you always need to wet your hand. It helps to, for kneading part. Even just look at it, you can see there is difference when it's the water enough. This is more smoother than you have a picture before. Okay, so I taste it. I think it need a little bit more salt. I'm gonna separate them, go both sizes. Always use water, water your hands. This is a michuk I cooked the night before and put it in a refrigerator overnight. So now we're making the michuk which the stuffing for the kufte and you start the ground beef. I add half a cup of water and start cooking it until it's done. Then I'm gonna add the onions and the spices. And it's time to add onion. Okay, now it's time to add salt to taste. We're gonna add black pepper and add Aleppo pepper. And we're gonna add some uh, allspice and give a stir. And also try to break the meat while you're uh, stirring all this. Try always break the meat. And now I'm gonna let this cook for uh, 10 minutes and then I'm gonna put in a fridge for overnight to cool it down. So meat need to be cold because it helps to keep kufta in a good shape, perfect shape. And now we're gonna start making the shape, the kuftas. We get one gold ball side meat, get some water, put in your palm, shape it, and start to shape it like this. We 
your index finger first then and continue this is really thin and it's a time to start to feel feel not all the way you keep some space Again, try to push it down and again water your hands with your fingers and start closing like this. When it's closed and secure, you can start making the football shape. Just turning in both sides and smoothing out. outside part and put it and close it with the water. Okay, so you guys just witnessed a seasoned professional make this like a machine. And now I'm gonna try one. I've never done this before, so this is what a normal person looks like. And can you, if I, you have to help me. Yes. Okay, okay so I'm starting with a piece, a golf ball shaped piece, and I'm gonna use my water. Less, less, L just your Less tips. water. Your okay, fingertips. slightly less water on my fingertips. Okay. And then I take my index finger mm -hmm. and I push it. Not all the way. Not all the way. Okay. Do a piece of the way. Uh -huh. And I go like this. Push it a little bit, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like yours. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, hold, hold mine. Hold mine. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like an. Piece of art. Okay, I'm gonna fix yours. <laughs> Look, okay. you can stick it together. It's not a big deal. <laughs> wow. Uh -uh. This is yours. You're like a sculptor, and it's okay. Okay, now add more filling. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the michuk mm -hmm. and I'm gonna push and, it in mm -hmm. a little gently. gently. Okay. Use my finger, kind of mm -hmm. put it in like this. Mm -hmm. Now my fingertips is wet and start gently bring together all the ends. Gently. Gently. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Always again. A little, a little, just fingertips. If it's not going to be uh, football, you can do it circle. You want to do football? I want to try football. Okay. This is the way to do it. Okay. Oh, look at this. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I'm doing it. So we just finished making 40 kufta. I made one, she made 39, and we grabbed a few to boil because we're going to put them in a mazun yogurt soup. And if you want to learn how to make that, you can click the link here. There is other way to cook the ready kuftas. You can boil them, you can fry them, you can bake them, or you can keep them in a freezer to cook later on. So now I'm gonna show how to boil these ready kuftas. So I already boiled the water and I'm gonna add some salt to the water. and make boiling and start to put my kuftas gently in the water. Make sure that the water covers the kuftas and if you want a quick uh, boiling, just put the lid on and wait until it's gonna start boiling and open again. So, we cook the kuftas for 7-8 minutes. You can see the color change and also they floating on the water. They are ready to take out. Just take them out, put in a plate. Be careful, it's really hot. 
So this is ready to go in a matzo soup or you can eat with lemon. Anushallah. That's it. We made our Michiko kufta today. It takes long time, but it's worth to make it a bunch and keep it in a freezer. Every Christmas we get a gift, a bag to keep in our freezer, and it's always the best, easiest, quick dinner. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.